Task number one, bisect a line segment, which is what that says, although it's a bit scrappy. I'm assuming that bisect actually means cut it into two equal bits. I certainly know that it's two bits. I guess the question is, is it really two equal bits? And that's what we'll find out by doing it. So I'm starting off nice clear line, which as hopefully you can see is 10 centimetres from end to end or 100 millimetres. So that's how we're going to know whether I'm in fact going to be cutting this in half. So what I do is I grab my compass and I set it so that it's wide enough that it reaches a bit over halfway, which looks about right to me. Although, you know what, I'm not sure. I'm just going to make it a bit more. So what I'm going to do is draw a line like that from one point and then grab it here, there, and I'm going to draw another one of those. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pen, my ruler and I'm going to put it through those intersection points there. So straight up and down. And when I say straight up and down, this should actually be exactly straight up and down. So that should be exactly a right angle. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these things here and actually pop it in the corner and see. And sure enough, it is bang on the right angle. So that's a way you can get a right angle even if you don't have a protractor. You can use it. To, um, to put that line straight up and down on the perpendicular. Now, the question is, is this really cutting it in half? Let's have a look. So, five centimetres, five centimetres. So there you go. We have bisected the line segment, we've cut it into two equal bits, and we've created a right angle up and down, and that's worth remembering because that's a trick we're going to use again.